Okay, here's the uh, Morse code oscillator I built on, on the breadboard. The plan is to make a uh, Morse code oscillator in an Altoids tin, which is right here. And uh, so I got the idea online from somebody else who made it, uh, but I tweaked it a bit using parts I had lying around. This is my schematic. I'm using a, a buzzer instead of a speaker in this case. A uh, 9 volt battery. Uh, I'm using a, a pot here to adjust the tone or the, frequ the frequency. Um, and let's see. <coughs> I can cut this anyway. Well. Oh. Uh, here's the formula to calculate the frequency. This is given by the data sheet. So for RA I chose 10K, RB I chose 10K plus in line with a 47K pot for adjusting. And calculated frequency is 527 Hz to 2.18 kilohertz. And my assistant here is going to show how close we are to that calculation. So let me switch screens here. All right, let's, oh, let's hook up the probe. <clears throat> All right, let's see how we do. Okay, this is one end of the spectrum and we're showing 512 Hertz. That's pretty close. 512 versus 527. Okay, turn it up all the way to the highest frequency. Two point three one kilohertz. Two point one eight kilohertz. So that's not too far off. And this buzzer uh, is set up for two point four kilohertz. So it's definitely louder. Than Okay, now my assistant's gonna play us a little song. <laughs> nice. And I also picked up this steel piece of steel here to use as a key. So I'm going to fashion a Morse code key out of this somehow and hook it up to my oscillator. So until next time. <laughs>